is the Only Japan Go channel, and I'm going to be showing you Tokyo's newest onsen. Yeah, you know, Tokyo has uh, a lot of sento, which are public bathhouses, but they also have onsen. You don't have to go all the way out to the countryside to experience the onsen. You can do it right here in Tokyo. The most famous one is in Odaiba. It's called Monogatari, and it's uh, um, the one that most tourists go to. But I want to introduce you to one that just opened. Well, it's opening the day after tomorrow, and they've given me a chance to get a sneak peek of it. I'm really excited about it. It's right here. This is the neighborhood. It's near New, New, uh, Numata, Numata Station, which is in Shinagawa. You can see it's brand new and they've made it out of wood. This is what I really like about it. This is real wood and the windows are all stained glass windows and there's a story behind it. And I'm gonna explain that to you. Now, now most Sento or bathhouses in Tokyo are kind of old. They look like um, throwbacks from the 1940s and 1950s. They haven't changed much. Um, and I've been making a series about the Sento, the bathhouses here in Tokyo. This is the last one I'm filming. Now this one is unique because they've remodeled it in an effort to try to bring more people to go to the baths. And this one has, has, uh, hasn't been opened yet. It will the day after tomorrow, but we're gonna take a look inside. I hope you're ready for this. So the price is a very modest 460 yen, or about $4 to enter in here. Once again, it's not open yet to the public, it's open to me. And I'm taking you in there. Leave your shoes at the door. Right there. And uh, there's lockers to put them in right here. Everything's made out of wood. Enter. Oh, Kuicha! Hi, Whoa! I just discovered this before I came in here. This is a homono Yeah, this is Yeah, this is an LCD monitor and it's using computer graphics. And it's it's in the floor of of the entrance, the lobby of this of this onsen. It's really cool. I was I was looking at this for like ten minutes, like going, oh, look at the cool. But it's not real. It's a it's a computer monitor. Very cool. Yeah. So this is the owner. Uh, and I can open it tonight, so. So this Asatte. Uh, I love this because everything is made out of wood. This is kind of rare in, in, in Sentos. They're, they've all been made out of plastic or metal or cement. This is wood. And I like the touch of the stained glass windows. This comes back to the Taisho Jidai. Taisho Jidai. Yeah. There was the um, Meiji Restoration, then Taisho, then Showa, and now this is uh, he Heisei. No, Heisei. Heisei, but Heisei might be over in two years, right now, Made? Oh, time slip. Time slip. <laughs> this is like, we've gone back in the time. What I like about this is not just the wood and the stained glass windows, but like a lobby in the So this. So you can see the uh, so that's you can't take pictures inside, but you can do it here. That's really really cool. All right. So this is Danse Jose, right? So. Demo Kyo Jose. Yeah. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna take a look at the women's the women's bath. Now they're actually um, having tours, and people are coming in to take a look at this place because it's brand new. Says that's all new in there. Oh, it's like a like a new smell. A new smell. So this. Ah, right now, this new smell is protected. So it's okay. Ah, that's right. New smell. Yeah, there's the smell of wood. I love these lights. So great, thank you, Kiri. This year. So, Taisho Jidai, like a hundred years ago, they have that kind of style of lights. 
I really love that. It's a throwback. Everything is so clean. And what, what you can see with the lockers is they've taken a lot of attention to the details. This is made out of like bronze, I think. And the lockers are made out of wood, which is really, I like that style. It's very natural. And that's important, I think. When you want to go to an onsen, you want it to be natural. <laughs> Whoa. So the walls are, are there's, they're just painted white. It's just plain, and I like that style too. Now, poster won't skin it, right? Skin it, yes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. So basically, it was a way to protect the, uh, the Edo period. And, and then the Edo period is well known, the Meiji Jidai, you know, Yokushi, but tai, the Taisho era is something that's really unique. It's like a throwback to the olden days, like the real olden days. And, and um, that makes this almost like a theme park. Like a theme park. There's an onsen in Odaiba called Monogatari, that's a theme park. That's like Edo Jidai, Edo Jidai. Yeah. So this is a Jidai. Yeah. So this is a park. Yes. The Taisho Jidai bathhouse. Oh, I'm loving this. Look at the inside. Now, outside I showed you Mount Fuji, but inside here they've done it differently. Right now they have a lot of people checking the water and they're getting ready for the opening, but already you can hear my voice echoing. Woo! So this is uh, uh, spring, summer, Aki. Fall, Shogatsu, New Year, Winter, and that's where we are right now. We're in the middle of winter. Technically, it's still fall, but we'll do winter. So quick. Nobody has used this at all yet. This is all brand new. It has that new wood smell. <laughs> I was gonna say new car, but the art, art on it is beautiful. So his, his or her name is Gravity Free. Gravity Free? Yeah, yes. Whoa. I'll be Googling that. Gravity Free. But you can see up here, again, the stained glass windows. And I'm going to show you these baths for a second. I want to get a little bit in depth into what you're getting into. Right now, we have the really creepy, spooky lights going on. but. I love lighting. The lighting, again, up there you can see the water in the men's bath sparkling up onto the ceiling, reflecting up there. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is a, um, well, uh, 460 yen, isn't it? 460 yen. Cento no nedan, isn't it? But this is onsen, isn't it? Onsen. 100% onsen. 100% onsen water. Now, cento is a public bath. They're using the water from the tap. Here, they're using the water from the ground. This is naturally heated onsen water, which is bubbling now. It's coming right from the ground. Wow, 100 meters deep. This, I think a lot of you might know before, it's sort of like a dogo onsen. Yeah, I made a video about dogo onsen on the main channel couple of years ago, uh, two summers ago. This is sort of resembles that and it's made out as, as a tribute to Dogo Onsen, which is the ultimate bathhouse. And you can see the color of the water is natural. Yeah, this is the natural color of the water that's coming out of the ground. And it and it has it has that smell to it. Have a from the minerals in the water, it gives your skin a really soft feeling, like a baby's bottom. It's very nice. Now the temperature... 
uh, 40, it's a very comfortable, right now it's around 40 degrees Celsius. That's a very comfortable, very comfortable temperature. See the water coming out of the faucet right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can see the koi in there. Some of the carp. It's a very comfortable 41 degrees. I was in Fukushima two weeks ago and the public bath, or three weeks ago, the public bath was 51 degrees Celsius. If you know anything about that, that's halfway to boiling. This is a very comfortable 41 degrees Celsius. So that's a big difference. Ah, I see. So these bands are all different. Tansan, that means it's, it's uh, gases in it, and then this one is just natural water. But I love the fixtures. It's very cool. And you can see it's coming out. This water color is natural. The minerals are still in it, and that's the cool thing. I'm shocked because I think it was about six six months ago when I started this project to to feature some of the uh, sento, the bathhouses, the public bathhouses in Tokyo. I had no idea that there was more than one onsen. So um, he decided to renovate this uh, sento because I guess so yeah, this is a really important story. Um, because the Japanese Sento used to have 2,000 of them, uh, maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and they've been decreasing. Now there's only about 600 of them in the city of Tokyo. And this culture of baths is something that I think we want to protect. Because everybody has a bathhouse, I'm sorry, everybody has a bath in their, in their bathroom now, in their house. It's changed over the years, so now people being so busy like they are, they don't go to the Sento anymore. They stay at home and, and take a bath in their bathhouse, in, in their bath. They don't come to the bathhouse. So, um, I personally want to protect this culture. This is a big deal to me. If the Sento dies out because there's just not enough customers, I'm gonna be really. I just feel like that's not Japan anymore. This culture of going to the bath, to the Sento, to the Onsen, to Go and, and outside of your house to take a bath publicly is something that it, it really is special. And um, I'm glad I got a chance to show you around. This this hasn't opened yet. Asate, de show. Asate. This this place is opening the day after tomorrow, and it's so exciting. And uh, I'm I'm kind of happy to be a part of that. Let's see, everything's made out of wood. And these baskets are also the old style. You would put your clothes in there to keep it from uh, moving around and touching the floor. So it's all very beautiful. When you walk from here and you look up, like, wow! Like you're entering a forest. Like you're going into the forest, into the, into the deep, deep areas. And you can see over here, this beautiful waterfall all flowing into the baths. It's very artistic, isn't it? Yeah, I love this. This is absolutely a gorgeous uh, onsen. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. That's it. Just take you around uh, the very brand new onsen. And it's right here. I put a link in the description. Hasunuma onsen. I put a link in the description so you can find your way here. If you're staying in Tokyo or, and you're near Shinagawa, this is like one of those must stop places. I think definitely check it out. The day after tomorrow, December 16th is the opening. So if you're one of the first people to get in, get in here, you're gonna be one of the first times a naked body has been flopping around this wonderful house. Um, I definitely recommend any Sento in Tokyo, but this one, my gosh, I'm so happy that I got a chance to, to like speak this story. Look at those beautiful stained glass windows. Taisho era, everybody. Look that up on, on uh, Google so you get a little history. Awesome. All right. I want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you again for supporting me. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. You can see, you can also see there. Uh, the name is? Mr. Kondo! Kondo san! He will be here. Yeah, you can say hi to Kondo san when you come here to visit. You already have a friend here. Cool. So, I'm going to leave the last two seconds in the bath. Thank you very much, everybody, for, um, I, for following this episode and for um, following the Only Japan Go channel. If you want to see more of these episodes, definitely subscribe um, because then I will annoy you all the time with live streams from Tokyo. That's what I do. Here you go. Enjoy the bath for the last 20 seconds. See you next time, everybody.